course we need to determine the number of workstations. The second is the diameter of our turntable, as it is one of the most important conditions in determining the specifications of a cam indexer. The third is the total load capacity of the cam indexer, including the rotary table, work pieces, fixtures and other equipment. Fourth, the rotation time of each station, which is easily understood as the rotation time from the first station to the second station. There is also the dwelling time, which means the stopping time of each station. Depending on the structure of the working conditions, if the working condition is a turntable, it is recommended to choose DF, DT, or DIA Chem Indexer. If the working condition is shaft connection, it is recommended to choose DF, DS, or DE Chem Indexer. According to whether the end face of the output shaft needs to be hollow or not, DT and DIA CAM indexers are selected when the hollow hole is fixed. If the hollow hole and turntable synchronous rotation when the choice of DFH CAM indexer. Both DIA and DT are hollow for threading air tube, but DT is thinner than DFH. DIA is thinner than DT. DITA is more suitable to be installed in narrow spaces. The low torque borne by DIA of the same model is larger than DT, but DIA indexer is only suitable to be installed with the output and facing upward. Songo Automation has more than 10 years of manufacturing experience trusted by clients from over 50 countries, shaft and flange types. Tables, ultrathon, parallel models, and CAM Custom are available. CAM indexing tables with gear motor provided solutions.